Hey everybody, thanks for checking out my video. Um, I do a short video, hopefully a short video. Um, try to keep it short. On the Accurite 5-in-1 outdoor temperature sensor unit, um, this one has the uh, wind direction, wind speed, uh, humidity, outdoor temperature, and rain gauge in it. And um, in the instructions, they recommend um, if you're going to install this and you really want to get the most accurate wind speeds, to install it approximately 33 feet up in the air unobstructed. But uh, I could have done that on the roof of the house. I may go for that later on. Um, this is just kind of a quick installation uh, that I could do today. And um, I don't know if I'm so worried about the wind speed. I mean, it's uh, it's up there around 12 feet on a telescoping aluminum pole I had hanging around the, uh, the garage. Uh, I've had it laying around and finally found a use for it. So anyway, it's up there around 12 to 13, maybe 15 feet tops. It might not even be that high. Um, anyway, um, it's it's fine, I think, where it is. But I'll show you what I did. Um, have my tools still laying out here, so don't mind the mess. I recommend you have some sort of a level so you can get the pipe as straight and uh, plumb as possible. And you'll probably want some drill bits, drill, and probably some assorted screws and whatnot. Uh, what I did is uh, had a hole here at the bottom of the pole drill through the base and what i did is drill the hole into the wood a pilot hole into the wood screwed the lag bolt in i didn't tighten it up all the way because if i did it would throw the um level off on the uh the pipe so uh, probably what i'll do is i'll take it back out one day and put some washers in there just to back it up but i mean it's it's sturdy. It's not going anywhere. And up here at the top, um, I just took a uh, L bracket and screwed it into the top of the uh, 2x6 and drilled the hole into the aluminum tubing and put a sheet metal screw in. Uh, also, one day when the weather warms up, it's kind of chilly today, um, I intend to spray this pole with some clear Krylon spray. Uh, to um, protect the aluminum so it doesn't uh, oxidize. I mean, it won't rust, but it will oxidize. Um, anyway, and what I did here is uh, took a hose clamp, heater hose type clamp, to put around the pole so that it wouldn't drop down into the larger diameter pole. And uh, probably what I will do is maybe drill a small hole here with a set with a small uh, sheet metal screw just to prevent this top section from rotating. Uh, it is orientated in the uh, southern direction. Uh, you want it so that the uh, it's facing south for two reasons. One for the um, <clears throat> sensor, uh, not sensor, the uh, solar, little solar panel that's up there that um, generates power to power. There's a small miniature fan in the um, unit to help circulate the air within the unit so that the uh, temperature reading is more accurate. Um, so you want to have that facing south. It's not got anything to do with battery life or anything like that. I mean, yeah, I guess it saves on batteries because if you had to run the fan off the batteries consistently, uh, it would probably draw them down a lot quicker. Um, but the way this is set up, it's easy enough for me to take down that uh, I can uh, place the batteries easily. Actually, I can take this clamp off and slide this, or let this drop all the way down. Um, I'm going to climb up here. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Um, I have this mounted next to my garden because I was more or less interested with uh, the weather conditions near the garden, uh, temperature-wise and, and stuff. And what I've done here, um, what I found fit in the bottom of this unit really well was a piece of PVC pipe, not C PVC, but just regular PVC pipe, uh, three-quarter inch PVC pipe 
fit very uh, securely, pretty snug up into the base of the unit. I did secure it with two screws. I think you can see them. And it was a little bit too thick to fit into the pole. So rather than um, try to sand down the pipe or the, uh, the you know the PVC pipe, um, I just put a slit in both sides of the pole to allow it to expand and I shoved the PVC into there. What I'll do is I'll get another hose clamp to put around here just to be sure that it uh, doesn't go anywhere. I didn't have any more so I used the one I did have to keep the pole in the extended position. So that kind of gives you an idea of the installation um, and you want to try to get there is a bubble uh, level bubble level whatever you want to call it at the top of the unit which of course you can't see now because it's up so high so that's why I recommend if you're going to put this on a tall pole to get yourself a uh, level and make sure your pole is uh, correct and and plumb because otherwise um, I mean it'll still work the uh, anemometer for wind speed will still work but what will happen is if your unit is too far tilted one way or the other, your wind indicator will tend to bias itself to one direction because of the angle. So you want it to be as neutral as possible. So there you want there is why you want to get it level. Um, okay, I'm gonna finish cleaning up. It's getting late, and uh, after I get done cleaning up out here, I will uh, show some video of the the monitor inside. Um, so. <clears throat> I will follow up with that shortly. Here is the display or monitor that goes with the uh, 5-in-1 sensor that I showed the installation on earlier. And it's hard to see in the video here, at least on my monitor screen, whether you can actually see the colors on it. But uh, it is pretty, pretty well uh, colorful and... Um, I uh, like the way the display looked. I didn't really want like an LCD black and gray type display. I want something a little bit uh, easier to read. And this uh, was it for me. Anyway, it's got a lot of features in it. Um, some they're showing right now, of course, is indoor temperature, uh, humidity, outdoor temperature and humidity, uh, wind speed, uh, direction, which... It's been pretty calm today. Haven't had a lot of wind. I think the highest uh, recording for wind today was about three miles an hour. So uh, fairly calm. And uh, down at the bottom, you can see it's scrolling. Uh, it says uh, outside temperature. I guess that was today's high humidity. Um, so it flashes a lot of information down there. Uh, if you sit there and watch it. Um, of course the rainfall is at 0 or 0 0.08 right now and that's because uh, that was probably for me calibrating it with the uh, batteries in and the uh, um, <clears throat> monitor on and because uh, Accurite mentions to set up it's kind of a goofy calibration scheme you have to get 8 ounces of water put in some sort of a plastic cup and uh, they want you to I guess poke a hole in it big enough that uh, it drips out at a certain rate and I forget what the rate was but it says um, well I also read through the pamphlet a little bit more and it mentions that there's a um, that rain collector in there not that it says it in there but it's basically a funnel and that uh, basin that catches the water has a funnel at the bottom it directs the water into a little uh, like spoon or paddle and when it gets a certain amount of water in it the paddle tips and I guess when it tips that's a certain unit of water that or rain that has fell, fallen and it mentions that it should tip with about 25 drops of water in it so what I did, uh, instead of running a calibration for a long time, I got a syringe that I had laying around, an old syringe, and I filled it up with some water. And basically I was able to control 
how much water dripped out of it and you can see here a little drop just came out and I did that counted 25 drops and listened for that little um, spoon or paddle to to dump and at first it was around 32 drops before it would dump so there's adjustment screws underneath the sensor unit I tweaked them a little bit and now it's dropping at about 27 drops um, so I'm gonna leave it at that for now uh, we haven't had a lot of rain here in North Carolina it's been pretty dry um, but I'll try to compare my rain readings to some other local weather stations here in the area and see if I got it fairly um, accurate um, yeah you know, it's a tenth of an inch off or so I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about it I just don't want it to be like way off where it says we got an inch of rain and you know mine showing a, a tenth of an inch or a quarter inch of rain um, one other thing I mentioned uh, I am gonna mount this to the wall and if you flip this around there's a notch in the back here for a screw and I'm gonna hang this up on the wall um, I have a spot already picked out for it near an outlet it comes with a uh, AC wall adapter and also batteries for backup uh, I guess I'll leave the backup batteries in there um, I kind of hate doing that though with battery backups because if you forget about them and they leak they'll ruin the unit um, I don't know I'd rather I guess lose some data than then have the unit get damaged so I'll decide later whether I'm gonna keep the batteries in or not anyway I just wanted to give a quick review on it um, I haven't had long enough to really mention any pluses or minuses but um, you know right now of course it's new I'm happy with it you know three months from now something could be broke and I could be complaining it's a hunk of junk so but right now I'm happy with my purchase. It was a good price. They had it on sale. I think it was $119 on sale. So that's it um, for this video. Hopefully I've maybe given you some good ideas for mounting or installing the 5-in-1 uh, sensor. And maybe this calibration method that I tried might be a shortcut, hopefully. Um, Hopefully it's accurate enough. You know how shortcuts go sometimes. They're not so short. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them below in the video. And uh, I will try to respond back as soon as I can. Thank you.